problem, the sound goes away. I prepared some epoxy glue. So I'm going to use this with a sharp pointed stick and I'm going to apply the glue to the place where we need to secure the coil. Over here, like this. Okay. Just going to push the thing back in place like that and make sure the epoxy glue is nicely there. I'm using the, uh, the, the magnet and carriage, the magnet holder itself to just push the epoxy in place like that. So it's actually holding this side of the coil, okay? So just wait for it to dry, for it to harden. Hopefully it, was, it will not block any uh, movement of the coil across the magnet itself, okay? So now I try to see if I can apply some on the other side. So what I'll do, I'll just apply a little, a little bit over here, just a small dot, just to secure it and let it hold over at the front here. And I'll push the glue into the groove. to give it a little bit of mechanical strength Right, so we have this front section. So based on this, the magnetic flux will not be hindered in any way because this is on the other side of the coil. So just make sure we straighten it. Just clean up. Okay. So let's give it time to dry. Okay, so I have I have glue at the front section here just to help to reinforce it. I have glue on the other side here to hold the coil in place. And this side of the coil there is actually the flex cable holding it. So that should hold it in place. And once this um, dries up, we will clean up the lens. I have some little fingerprints here. Accidental fingerprints. Okay, we just put this aside. Let it dry up. While I clean up my hands. Right now, looks like the glue has cured. Just to check again, looks like the glue has glue has cured. Okay, the glue has solidified itself, and now it's like it's in place. Well, I'll wait, it, wait for it to further cure. I'll clean up the lens. The glue over here, the glue over the front, the gap here, and the securing um, side with the flex cable so it looks like the coil is in place now once I clean up this lens we can try to put it back together again okay, let's clean up. so now we're going to fix it back together again 
You have to be careful because there's a flex cable on this side and I have to make sure that there's no dust particle on this uh, inner element here. So I'm just going to do a quick wipe. Okay, make sure it's clean. No oil stain. Okay, so I need to carefully sit this back in place. And one thing I one thing I observe is you can see this little section here. These are actually shaving of copper. See that? Okay, those are the shaving of the copper, I think which might have rubbed on to the magnet. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet, wet the end of the earbud. Okay, I'm going to wet the end of the earbud with the isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just going to dab onto this corner section here. To pick up any copper. See that? You can actually see the copper, bits of copper in there. Okay, so this couple bits might just drop onto the lens and become dust particles in the lens. So I just clean it up. See that? You can actually see this little particles in there. Okay, so I'm just going to remove more. I'm just going to Rub it up, it up a bit more over here. Okay, let's see whether there's the copper shavings which actually probably has formed or created when the loose copper coil is rubbing. So now I get to just pick up the magnet module. With the lens, going to align it and put it in place. Okay, like that. So, back in place. Oops, there's a hair particle in there. I'm just going to get an air blower. I'm going to clean, I'm going to blow it up. So, what I'm going to do. It's going to give a good blow, a blower. Make sure there's no dust sitting on the lens. I can actually see copper dust there. Oh no, there's some slight copper dust. You can see that? You can actually see the copper dust over there. At this little corner here. Okay. So once again, I'm going to wet. I'm going to wet. And I'm going to just dig out the copper. Bits of piece of copper in there. This is grease and copper. You can actually see a little dot of copper there on the lens. If you're careful enough, you can actually see that little dot. See that? That is a copper flake. So it's going to just blow it away. Like it's fairly clean now. Now I'm going to put it back, put this whole module back in place. 
carefully careful not to um, damage this curly coil I'm just going to drop it in there and I'm going to position it with the tweezer like that and back in place like this okay so that's done Make sure, check everything is okay. Then I'll just put back the bars. Okay, there's two rod, the sliding rod. The long one. This is the long sliding rod over here. Push it in place. Then the shorter sliding rod over here. Like that. Okay. Then just make sure it's in place. Okay, now I've cleaned up the back lens, all good. Now it's time to put it back together again, like that. Okay, now I'm going to cap up this whole assembly. So this rectangular section here where my thumb is, my index finger is, will go to where the magnet is so this is going to sit nicely this rectangle section will coincide with this magnet section and the two rods will coincide with this two rounded portion here and cap it nicely like this put it back in place making sure everything is aligned oops okay so the whole group will be sitting in like that then now I'm going to put back these three screws one two and three one so good practice to go anti-clockwise first until you hear the click then you turn clockwise okay. now the second screw go around just to make sure the screws are all fitting in well tightly screwing back tightly all the three screws now I'm going to put this back this little flex cable into this little uh, feature here okay so that actually is a guide 
for the alignment of where the flex cable is going in. So we're just going to put in there, align the flex cable in there, and slide it in place. Okay, so I'm going to just go in, slide it in place like that, and it should sit in there. Okay. So now with the focusing element in place, next we're going to secure back the pushing okay along the helical grooves. <laughs> 